Alright everybody, the next step after making the brine is to put the turkey into a bag. This is a garbage bag here, um, a cl nice clear garbage bag. We're going to pour the brine in and make sure that brine gets worked real good inside the cavity of that turkey. We're going to mix it up real good, shake, 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 shake. And if the brine isn't all the way up to the turkey, you need to add more Dr. Pepper. Don't add anything else, just Dr. Pepper. And here it shows me adding two. I actually added, ended up adding 10 um, cans of Dr. Pepper. Then also threw that neck in there. It gives a lot of extra flavor. We're gonna get the air out, we're gonna twist it. We're gonna put it back into the cooler. Add some ice. Nice big bag of some ready ice. We'll keep it nice and cold, and we're going to keep this turkey in here at least 12 hours. The longer it brines, the better it's going to be. Put that lid on, and we're done. And now we're going to stuff the bird. All right, here's the stuff we're going to stuff the bird with. Here is my uh, Damascus steel knife. I love that knife. We're going to put some parsley in there. We're going to put some apples. That's also going to go on the bottom of the Dutch oven four sticks of unsalted butter, an onion, we're going to go with some lemon, garlic, salt and pepper. Alright everybody, so the next step we have is to take the turkey out of the brine. We're going to cut it out of the bag and we're going to wash it and dry it. This was an experiment. I just got a new microphone so I want to do a voiceover. So uh, next, after the fade to white is going to be me in real time thank you all right everybody we are back so we're gonna make the butter mix that goes up underneath the skin of the turkey you're gonna start off with four sticks of unsalted butter that's probably about a quarter cup of parsley right here we're gonna cut this up Go. That's pretty good. 
pretty good right there. We're gonna do some lemon zest in here as well. Do some lemon zest. Some two cloves of fresh garlic. I probably should have grated that garlic into there. Just thought about that. It's okay, I can do it like this too. No biggie. Okay, now we're gonna put the garlic into the bowl. We're gonna do some lemon in here. There we go. And we're gonna get this all nice and mixed up. The apples are gonna go inside. I'm also gonna put the apples on the bottom of the Dutch oven so we can lift up the, uh, the turkey up off of the, the bottom of there, okay? So we're just gonna get our hands in here. Stuff all good mixed up. I forgot something, of course. At least I have one clean hand. I gotta put some, uh, some salt and pepper in here. All right, so I've got some uh, hard coarse uh, kosher salt here. I'm gonna put some of that in there. This is why we went with uh, unsalted butter, because we're salting it. There we go. And about half a teaspoon of pepper. There we go. Okay, this is pretty, pretty well stirred up. And now we're gonna move on to the turkey. All right, everybody, this is what we're gonna do next. I have already uh, went ahead and did up all the skin up underneath here and I worked my way around over here to the thigh and I got uh, the leg as well. So we're going to be putting butter all up underneath here and all up underneath here. Okay, that butter mix I just did. I did the other side over here as well. See right here? So you can almost see the leg. I almost peeled the leg, leg skin all the way back. And then we're going to be stuffing inside here. We're just going to chop this up in like quarters. We're going to put the remaining lemon in there. And we're also going to be putting some parsley in there as well and then maybe a uh, maybe a, a little bit of apples inside there as well. I got the smoker going right now. It's uh, I'm gonna be cooking this at right about 500 degrees, four to 500 degrees. You probably think that's too hot, but I'm here to tell you it's not. Now it's time for his butter mix. Take some, get into a ball, put it the skin. Shut it. I have to spread around. Just leave right there, just like that. A nice big ball like that. Looks like a looks like a hunchback. Notre Dame. There we go. Check that. Put a little more here. Then take the remaining half. Just kind of like split in half. Then you're gonna stuff it over here where the legs are. It's gonna keep that nice and moist. Along with that brine, that brine's really uh, gonna be having a good taste to it. Take this. Right Parsley. Show that in there any way we can. Now, a lot of you guys will probably remove this. I find it very handy. Look at that. You don't gotta tie it. You don't gotta tie it up or nothing. You just leave it just like that. So there we go. Uh, so all the thing we're waiting on now is for the smoker. So I'll meet you back out there. All right, y'all, let's get this party started. Here we go. So here's the Dutch oven. I removed the heat plate that was underneath. I removed that. And I got one of my racks from Oklahoma Joe's. I put it this way so this here will slide better. We're gonna line the bottom with some apples. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna lift up the turkey off of the Dutch oven. like that. Plus make it taste good. Here's the neck. The neck down here. There we go. Now it's time for the burger. Okay. Keep the lid off. That's how I get down. So 
temperature probe in. There we go. Now we're good. All right, so I am right now, I'm about only about 10 minutes in, and I'm realizing that my temperature probe for my, that's built into the camp chef here, my, my uh, is not working. So now I have to run a different probe in here. Should I get the same hole here? There we go. There we go. So now I gotta run a different probe to see what everything's at. So right now our goal is, uh, let me see, switch this. So you're gonna go to Turkey. All right, recommended temperature for Turkey is 165. I always go way past that. I go, you know, once I go about 170, 175. Trust me, it's still gonna be moist and it's still gonna be great. So I'll let you guys know what I did. It's been 45 minutes now and the internal temperature is up to 68 degrees. It's starting to brown up pretty nice. I'm just gonna spray with some olive oil to help piss that skin up some more. All right, the internal temperature is at 104. We are only about, about an hour and 15 minutes in. And uh, it's starting to really, let me zoom in on here. Did you hear by the noise I'm fixing the foil up? So that is not burned, I don't know why it looks like that, but it's not burned, it's, it's just, getting nice and crispy there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tent this. I'm gonna tent it with the foil. That is pretty hot. There we go. By the way, I do my own stunts. Okie doke, we are inside and it was, it's been two hours. And there you go. That thing is beautiful. Nice pullback right there on the bones of the legs. I'm gonna let it rest for a couple hours and we're gonna see what this thing looks like inside. So I'll be back a couple hours. All right, everybody, it has been a couple of hours. Let's get this thing unwrapped. Thank you there. All right, that's looking beautiful. Y'all might be saying, meathead, it's kind of late to be doing a, a, a Thanksgiving turkey. Well, I didn't do this. For you guys for Thanksgiving, I did this for Christmas. So I'm early on Christmas, also New Year's turkey. Let's get this thing cut. You can I see the spices right there. Get this thing off the stand here. You guys see this. Right there. Oh, my oh, my mm, skin. That is really good. That piece of yeah, that's super good. That's super juicy. I like it a lot. <laughs> so y'all have a Merry Christmas and a uh, belated Thanksgiving and Happy New Year. Try this turkey anytime. It is uh, really that good. Anyhow, uh, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, hit that little bell, wherever it is, the notifications. Thanks for joining me. See ya.